a very good morning to everyone today we have the demo on interior of the right ventricle above this is right atrium and below this is right ventricle so it is a thick wall which communicates with the right atrium with the help of tricuspid valve and with the pulmonary trunk with the help of the pulmonary orifice and we have to know about the internal features so internal features consist of the two parts can you see this one it consists of the larger lower rough part also known as inflowing part this rough part is known as the inflowing part and same how we have the small upper outflowing part so this above is known as outflowing part which is also known as infundibulum now both this inflowing and the outflowing part is separated with the help of muscular ridge now i'm showing you the muscular ridge this is muscular ridge also known as supraventricular crest also known as infundibuloventricular crest which is separating the the larger lower part and small the upper outflowing part now we have to know about this rough impression that is known as the trabeculae corneae and it is also a muscular projection that gives the ventricular chamber a spongy like appearance so that's why the right ventricle appears spongy like appearance and there are three types of the the trabeculae corneae so that is known as the ridges bridges and the papillary muscles the small one which, which you can see here that is small one is known as the ridges which is fixed elevation same how there are the bridges which in which only ends are fixed and the central part is free and we have the pillars these pillars are known as papillary muscles and the papillary muscles represents the trabeculae corneae in which the base is attached to the ventricular wall and the apex is free but it is attached to the cauda tendine to the cusp so there are three papillary muscles so this one is known as anterior papillary muscles just behind the anterior papillary muscles there is a posterior papillary muscles on the back side this is the posterior papillary muscles over here and same how this is known as the septal papillary muscles which is like a small nipple this anterior papillary muscles is largest among all the papillary muscles while the posterior is small and the septal is divided into two to three small small nipples same how can you see here this the anterior papillary muscles the base is attached to the ventricular wall but the apex is attached to the thin thread like projection or structure that is known as cauda tendine and this cauda tendine above it is attached to the cusp so can you see here in the diagram so it is attached to the cusp above so here there are three papillary muscles that's why the three cusp is present here you can correlate with the diagram that's why between the right atrium and right ventricle it is known as tricuspid valve let's repeat again you can see here this is known as the anterior papillary muscles this is anterior papillary muscles this is posterior and this is known as the septal papillary muscles which is attached to the cauda tendine above and to the cusp so now now let's know about this muscular ridge known as moderator band also known as septomarginal trabeculae which is attached to the ventricular septum to the anterior papillary muscles which prevents the over distension of right ventricle so this is all about the right ventricles or interior of the right ventricle same how on the left side we have the the left ventricle left ventricle consist of two papillary anterior papillary and posterior papillary muscles so two cusps will be present that's why tricuspid valve is present